Okay guys, I am back for the top 10 pieces of shit that have somewhat graced us for 2011. So here we go. Number 10. Number 10. And what way to kick off this list, another way to kick off this year, than the piece of shit of Season of the Witch. My god. Nicolas Cage. What the fuck? Rod Perlman. What the fuck? The plot. It's just basically what the fuck movie. There's nothing makes sense. The realism. There's no realism. There is no fucking plot. Move on. Number 9. Number 9. I think you guys saw this coming. But I had to do it. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1. I have given the Twilight movies every single chance I could have. I've went into this movie with an open mind, like I have with the other films. All it's made me do is just throw shit bricks at the screen. Bellas One, die please. Edward, die please. Jacob, stop taking your fucking shirt off. Number eight. Number eight, Hangover Part Two. This was the worst comedy I have seen this year. It's just a recycled plot. Todd Phillips, what the fuck? You directed one of the best comedies. How do you follow it up? With making the same fucking movie. There's a scene that involves dicks. Need I say any more? Number seven. Number seven. Number seven goes to the shittest spy movie this year, Abduction. Once I saw Taylor Lautner doing a spy film, all I could think of was Born Identity Ripoff, and guess what? It was exactly that. The film makes no sense. Taylor Lautner does the dumbest things that a spy wouldn't do. Jason Bourne would beat the shit out of this guy for what he does. Number six. Number six, a movie that actually makes me prefer Twilight, Red Riding Hood. This movie has a huge Twilight feel to it, you don't want to know why? Because the director of the first Twilight directed this movie. Shitty acting, so many bad visuals, and such a predictable fucking plot. Oh my god. Number five. Number five. Number five goes to the director who butt fucked my childhood like Ed Chamalan did last year. Thank you, Robert Rodriguez, for bringing Spy Kids 4 and Aromascope, something that forced me to smell baby shit. This movie is so stupid. It makes kids look like the biggest dumbass on the planet. The film's comedy is crap. Not even Joe McHale can save this movie, and he is a funny dude. Number four. Number four. Jack and Jill. That's a cross-dressing Adam Sandler. Need I say more? Number three. Number three. What do you get with a bunch of little blue fuckers? The Smurfs. The most annoying film this year. With Smurfs saying, Smurf that, Smurf this. Oh my god, it's a Smurfin' dress. That's Smurfin' awesome. Smurfity Smurf Smurf Smurf! <laughs> There's no call for that kind of language, laddie. Shut the fuck up, Gutsy Smurf. Number two. Number two. Take the director of Saws 2, 3, and 4, make a, I guess, a world day movie like 2012, and what do you get? 11, 11, 11. And very bad character development. Some of the most hilarious scares I have seen this year. There's this one guy that goes like this. <sighs> the film is just terrible. I mean, how can anybody see this? Number one. At number one. The biggest piece of shit this year. The piece of shit that makes the other pieces of shit look good. The number one worst film of the year. Creature. If you never heard about this movie, Good for you. Never saw it. Good for you. If you did, I feel your pain. This film brought my faith down in horror movies. And I am a huge horror fan. How do you make a horror film bad? Let's see. A plot that nobody cares about. A creature that looks like a fucked up version of a Goomba from the Mario Brothers movie. Sex scenes that are boring as shit. And let's see what else. An ending that makes absolutely no fucking 
sense. How was this movie even made? Preacher, worst film of 2011. So there you guys, I've extinguished all my anger for this year. I hope you liked my top 10 best and worst films of the year. I want to hear your top 10 worst films of the year. I will also be making my honorable mentions and my dishonorable mentions of the year. Until then, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in 2012. Oh, seriously, do it. Do it. Do it.